Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to Victoria 3. Playing as the North German Federation, and we are ticking down on our way to uh, enable trench infantry, at which point we are going to go against Austria. Now, until then, we are try still trying to burn down our infamy here. Hopefully that's going to become a little bit faster. Uh, and uh, while we're doing that, we are building up our economy. Now, one of the things that I noticed is... We still have this big, big lumber shortage. And even though we're building some stuff up in Prussia, I don't think this is going to work out. So, you know what? We're going to start importing that. And the reason we do that is I did find, if I can find it again, where's wood? Come on. There we go. So, there are some pretty good trade routes, I think, that we can pick out. So, if we sort by productivity here... We could, of course, saw some from Sweden. We like the Swedes, but we can also get stuff from Russia and that doesn't even use convoys. You know what? We're going to do that. Uh, and I think that is going to give us a huge boost in lumber. Lumber is, of course, one of the things that we are chronically short of. The other thing is currently clippers. And that is because our ports are using clippers, while our fisheries actually do not. And the issue to that is that we don't have the industrial port thing available here. And due to that reason, we're simply going to go and switch over to the Ganfried Cranes here. Just for a second. That's only going to take a couple of short weeks. And then we can switch that around too, which is going to be a little bit better, I think. Right, that being said, we can build up more stuff. And we did already find that uh, we are short on clothing. So let's go ahead and build up our clothing factories a little bit more. That is going to lead to a shortage in fabric and dye. So, you know what? Uh, let's try to import some fabric and see whether we can do a little bit better there. Now, actually, we are going to import that from Austria. It's not the ideal thing because we don't want to make them stronger. But you know what? I think it's going to work out fine. Good. Um, some other stuff that we should be building up is, I think, more tooling workshops. You can see they are pretty productive, as you can tell over there. Furniture manufactories, you know what, since we are producing more of that, I think we can do that too. So, yeah, let's simply all across uh, the board build up more industry, build more resources, and get our economy going. Um, I think we are... Ah, come on. Just, just tell me... Yeah, we are around 11 million short versus France. So, let's see whether we can catch up there. Ironclads are a bit short. Oh, and we are some, yeah, no, that's that's just clippers. That's going to go away fairly soon here as we do get the new technology. There we go. Speaking of, brilliant. Uh, let's go back to the trench works and build those up. And in the meanwhile, get to, I think, development. Get over here, build the industrial stuff. That is going to mean a lot more convoys, a lot more infrastructure, more steamers, which are going to become incredibly expensive, and less clippers. So the clipper shortage is going to go away because that's not not a thing anymore. Even though we are facing sugar shortages, which we also will need to deal with. Um, but then we should also take a look at the shipyards here. Right. So let's give that a second to tick in. So that means we have a shortage. Well, not a technical shortage of steamers, but uh, de facto. And we do have a shortage of ironclads. Some of that is being traded away. But I'm reluctant to build up another level because that would just be a bit too much. So I think we again need to build up another shipyard, uh, which we're going to do in Pomerania. And that's going to be a purely civilian shipyard. So you guys are not going to do any military shipbuilding. You're simply going to do that. And that should be A-OK. -okay. Um, you know what? We're actually going to prioritize that simply because I think uh, we pretty much desperately will need that. Right. And then there's the sugar shortage. There's not much that we can do, so let's try to get um, more imported right away. Can get some from France. We could get some from the Chinese. And you know what? We have so many convoys available now that I think this might make a lot of sense. And look at the productivity there. That's that's a huge boost in productivity. So that should be A-OK. -okay. And you know what? I think that means we can build more food industries because we're always short on these two. We are actually making a lot of money here, even though we are using all of our production capabilities. So one of the other things that I think we should think about is more universities too. First of all, let's do build that up a little bit in Brandenburg. I think more universities are going to be better, simply 
because we will need to innovate. So that's going to be a good thing to do right there. But then again, we will need more building capabilities. I think there is a technology. Is it under society? Steel frame buildings. No, that's not it. Is it? No, no, no. We want more throughput. Reinforced concrete. We could do that. I don't think we need to do that right now. We can just as well increase the construction sector in, in some segments. Over here? Yeah, over here. Yeah, we do have a couple of peasants, so let's build that up in all of these places. Semi-significantly. Yeah, West Prata. I don't want to overdo it, but you know what? Let's build up some. And as always, this stuff has a priority. Even the universities, we're going to prioritize that a little bit. That should... I, I guess that's actually not going to reduce our expenditure here to the extent that it's become going to become useful. But you know what? I think that's largely due to the wood that we're now importing. People are buying our stuff. That's okay. Rivalry broken. Who's that? France and Britain. And the British Russian stuff. Trade agreement. Russia. They're calling in our obligation. Okay, so we have to accept. Fair enough, I guess. That means a lot less income due to terrorists, probably. It's not the worst either, because uh, that means we can get stuff. Are they importing stuff? No, it doesn't look like it. China and Japan doing their thing. But all in all, that seems fine. Building up the textile mills, building up various arms factories and such. And shipyards, which I really like to see. And the universities, so that should also give us a little bit more here in terms of technology. Once we're going to develop that, we are going to um, go ahead then and start to build up our military uh, by focusing on various different things, but we don't need to be too concerned about that for now. It would be lovely if we had more coffee. How's our colony looking? You are, hi you are hiring people, but let's build that up a little bit more. I think we can get more more attraction there over the long term got some dye plantations here you know what we can build that up too it's not super crucial but still it's going to be useful and what else what else do we need opium definitely something that we want over the long term transportation food oh, we are starting to look short on motor industries too how many things have we got there? Come on. We've got a shortage of 80. I guess that's going to be trading away a lot of things. But around 50% more shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna pro we are going to uh, build that up over time. How is Aldous looking? Three years into integration. That's looking nice. A couple of things here that we're probably going to delete at some point. Defensive pack of Saxon mining in. Sure. But a lot of the things here... These guys, most of these we cannot improve relations with any further. Well, we can with Hamburg. That's nice. I don't think a lot of these people are going to accept joining us. And the reason for that is mostly... Ooh, Jesus. Antagonistic. You really hate us, don't you? Why do you hate us so badly? Hamburg, what's going on? You have cordial relations. You view us as a natural enemy. And as military threatening. Okay. Hanover. Hanover is one of the things that I would really have. I would really love to see them joining us. Again, natural enemy. Why would you see it as a natural enemy? Let's try to improve things. I'm not sure whether that's going to work. But we are still going to try to bankroll some of these. Uh, by the way, a good tip that some of you gave me in the comments down below. So... Always do give them. Right. Where is it? Bankrolling. I don't think taking on debt. Well, we could try for Russia, but no. Okay, so bankrolling it is. Most of these people should be fine. I'm going to focus here on Saxe. And these guys down here. It's not going to cost us a lot. It's just... It's very little, actually. 
and it should make them like us a lot more. Where are these guys? Bavaria. Yeah, I don't think Bavaria is too keen. Let's go with Hamburg. It's really inexpensive. It's mostly costing us influence, really. Maybe some of them will ask to join us. I'm really hoping that. Look at that. Everyone is supporting Austria at the moment. It's not good. Something ha has happened that people really dislike us. And I'm guessing a little bit that we did drop in infamy and that for some reason people don't view us as badly anymore. So we were inspiring here maybe and people were like disliking us for the infamy but they were still thinking that we were powerful enough to overwhelm them maybe oh has it uh, you do need more railways and again i really wish there was a button to just put that on the top of the tree there put up some motor factories too there's a bit of turmoil can we do about much more about that yeah we can go for more law enforcement here really strong police force that we're going to build up i like that Industrial is still bankrolling us to a very large extent here. We are building up gold reserves, so that's also good. We will need those during the war. Obligation is probably expiring there. We are building more tool workshops, so that's always very good. Mm, but all in all, a lot of stuff here. Well, coal. We can use more coal. Silesia. Yeah. Yup. You don't have enough people and your arms industry aren't doing much good here. Yeah, how about Westphalia? You do have some peasants, that's good. How about Brandenburg? Oh yeah, you are also short on people. So let's try to get rid of stuff that we don't really need. Or at least go ahead and do some other things here. Like get more transportation. I mean, it's using it's using transportation yeah still makes sense maybe how about the tooling workshops i guess we can go for this stuff over here right yeah using more coal but a lot less people so you're going to become a lot more a, a lot more efficient there which is going to allow the arms industry to hire people good we're going to go with n just small arms down here We now have a surplus of that. That's good. There's a peace treaty. That isn't really that important. Hesse, inactive trade route. What? Fabric from Austria is inactive. Why? So is sugar. Why though? Are we, oh, do we have that much fabric? Yeah, balance is hugely in our favor. But we still have, we are still lacking clothing. So what if we go to sewing machines? That would give us a lot more clothing. A lot, a lot more actually. More tools, more fabric, more dyes. Let's go for it and see what's happening over here. Yeah, the weekly balance is dropping significantly. Because we have a lot of surplus of clothing right now. And I'm guessing that at some point I did tell these people to go for her very high export tariffs let's go to normal ones and see whether people are going to buy that of their own accord yeah see people are starting to buy that we can actively try to export that i don't tend to do that but sometimes it's worth it for example we could sell stuff to france why not? It's going to give us a lot more profit here on these guys, shouldn't it? As it grows. It's going to take a while for these trade routes to really come into effect. But yeah, you can see Russia is buying clothing. Various people are buying clothing now. So this balance here, the 600 should go down and our weekly balance should go up. Which is going to allow these people here to be valuably employed. Let's go for fewer people though. 
so that we are paying fewer, less in wages. Yeah, and the balance is going to become negative very soon, I guess. I kind of dislike the fact that we are importing and exporting stuff at the same time. Dice is still an issue. But yeah, our weekly balance is now positive. Let's build up some more factories here. Oh, we are actually not building enough right now. So yeah, let's uh, check on what else we can be building. Or should be building. Right, there's the question of luxury clothing. Now we could think about building luxury clothing down here. Craftsman suing. 700 less clothing, but the issue is silk. And again, we don't produce any silk, so we do need to buy silk. Can we buy silk meaningfully? Again, at some point that would become... Yeah, see, there's, there's very little silk that's available on the market. So I think luxury clothing is, is really something that we can't really fulfill. Luxury furniture, though. Uh, let's look at Anhalt. I think you guys have our furniture manufactories. What if we use precision tools? We would be producing a lot more luxury furniture. We would not actually produce less normal furniture, so that's good. Yeah, let's go for it. That's, that's an easy change here. A lot of notifications, apparently. Expensive government goods. Coal. Why is it that unproductive? I don't know. Let's kill it. Coal. Producing more coal. Coal is always going to be a big issue. We really don't have stuff here that we can draw down to build more coal mines. Not much at least. We can dial down the arms industry. You know what? Let's close them completely. We have some textile mills here. They're not that useful. More coal mines over here are always going to be useful though. And as we are developing better explosives and stuff that's also going to help out but I guess that Silesia really has hit the limit there we really need to think about other places where we can build that up Alsace has a potential for 60 Saxony for 60 but North Rhine I guess is the place to go as failure we are lacking people anyway we have some un unemployed people over here even so you know what let's let's do build up some coal mines and we can do that aggressively. Coal is always going to be something that we need a lot of. We only have 10 here, so another rail raid is. And there are some positive um, modifiers here. Very, not the Rhine River, the Ruhr coal field. That is helpful. Oh, what's going on here? The other side of the fence, again in Anhal. People have been complaining about the difference in living standards between us and Saxe Gotha. Well, trade unions, approval, and more interest. I'm, I'm listening. Yes, I think that's good. I do like the trade unions. They do give very good uh, modifiers once they are becoming a little bit more active. I think right now they're not that crucial uh, to be using, but over time, I, I can still see them being a very important uh, bit of, of the stuff that we need. Um, speaking of... How is the glass work looking? Yeah, some stuff that we can be building up. We need a little bit more lead, but otherwise uh, we can build that up too. Where are we getting our lead? Um, I think in Brunswick there, yeah, there, there are some lead mines here. Let's build up some. Brunswick has been a little bit um, yeah, of a downer because we're not really using that anywhere over here. But eh, oh my. Sugar, fabric, these guys are not used, but that's okay. Posen. It's eighty-eight percent. Why? We don't even have a railway in Posen. Huh, interesting. And in this Cameroon region, we also need a railway there, that's okay. Let's do build them up in our things. Ironclads. Now ironclads in West Prussia. Yeah. Let's do build that up a little bit more. We will be able to use uh, more navies over time, I guess. Yeah, 
nice long building creep. But this stuff should be prioritized. There we go. Good. I like that. How long until we're gonna get the technology? Still about three years. That is a while. We have an opium shortage, but we're not actually using opium for our people, and I kind of want to keep it that way. Our forces military technology cost is still active. How about we try to get you to be a little bit more... A little bit more in terms of military people. If we were to get that over 20%, the cost for that technology would go down, and the potential benefit afterwards would go down. I think I like that idea. To that extent, it might make sense to actually be building up some barracks now. Where do we have people available? In Posen? Sure, let's build up some people in Poland. That might make sense. From Romania? We're not really using people there, are we? Okay. East Prussia? Yeah, why not? Hesse? Hmm, not sure. Brunswick? We have a couple of people there. Yeah, let's put that up. It's fine to have that at the end of the creep, but still, if we were to get over 20% here, that would be brilliant. I don't think we need to bolster the industrialists anymore. That's still a very good uh, modifier there. But if we were to build these guys up, that would be fantastic. North Rhine, yeah, you're also building the, the uh, railway. It's going to take a while. It's somewhere buried down the creek, but eh, it's going to be all right. Good. Slowly eking towards the line infantry. We have not that much influence left, but by chance, would anyone be willing to join our customs union? Bremen, Holstein. I mean, Oldenburg, for example, isn't that far away, is it? So we are at around minus 30. Schleswig. Oldenburg. Can we bankroll you? Yeah, these guys are all pretty much maxed out anyway. Including Hanover. Their attitude is cautious. Uh, no, wh why is it cautious? Military threatening, natural enemy. There's not much we can do about that. We are becoming reputable, so starting to become a little bit better. Maybe once we hit zero there, that, that should be better. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't. Lots of things. Oh, glass. Really? We have that short on glass. Saxony, what are you doing? I mean, we are building that up anyway. Sugar? I think we should be importing that on, shouldn't we? Explosives? But again, our chemical plants struggle from the fact that there's so much fertilizer in the market. We could try to sell that, but it's not really there. Ooh, construction sector food, but that's going to be nice because that's going to mean that our money should be dropping. Why, why do we have so much money left? Ooh. Oh, city of plenty. Nice. That's a good event. Um, people are doing fine, so let's keep them celebrating. We don't want to have them expect too much for the future. That would not be sustainable for the long run, so yeah, I think that's going to be okay this way. How is our colony looking down here? South Cameroon, dye plantations. You know what? We're going to double down on that. Let's build that up entirely. I know you're struggling to find enough people, but I think over time they will come. We also have the railway that's being built up there, so that's good. Let's take a flip side look here and see what we have too much of. Yes, fertilizer. Can I sell that anywhere usefully? No, not really. Could try to sell it to the Russians. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go to Vespalia. You have a couple of uh, peasants now. So we might as well build up more chemical plants. And you know what? The tooling workshop, we're going to delete that because there's just no economies of scale that's, that's working in our favor here 
but I'm guessing we can build more down here because this is an incredibly effective thing to, to be running, it seems. Steel is expensive. Wood is presumably still expensive. Yes, as is coal. Coal is such an always evergreen. You want always more. But yeah, it does fuel, of course, uh, all of our our buildings. Starting to build up the barracks now. That should um, decrease our monetary supply, obviously. But it should also mean that, yes, there we go. See? Minus 20% military cost. And ultimately, if we do get the armed forces to like us a little bit more, we're going to have better troops. We don't need to do that now, but we do definitely want to have that before we get into the war against the Austrians. 21 months still till we get the infantry. Once we... Ooh. There's some, some sort of play going on. Wait a minute. Stop. UK against someone I really don't care about. We, we don't care about that at all. Right. Um, yeah. Once we switch around uh, the infantry, we will probably A, need a lot more arms and stuff. But we'll also have a negative modifier towards our effectiveness of our troops. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch that around and then start to make sure that our economy is really stable uh, once we do want to get up against the Austrians, so that should be A-OK -okay afterwards. So Saxon Mining, and we are super friendly right now, right, because we are bankrupt. Is that doing us any, any good at all? You are actually already in our, uh, in our zone. Barton, Brim, and Hanover. We do have defensive alliances. Why don't you guys accept Bremen, for example, here? It's a plus 70. Oldenburg. Just a little bit more, it seems. But we're never there. Building up our economy will, I think, I think it's simply, I think it's simply maxed out. I don't see that there is any differentiation there. So it seems like we're using that anyway, kind of. Low market access, North Rhine. North Rhine should be fine. Brandenburg is an issue. Yeah, the railway in Brandenburg is surprisingly, surprisingly docile, if you want. Finally build up a railway down here in the middle. You know what? I do really enjoy the map. I know I'm bitching about the uh, some other stuff a lot, but... Sugar, come on. Trade routes. Why is this inactive? Well, I don't get why, but still, let's try to import sugar then. Come on, where's sugar? We might need to be more aggressive in terms of colonies. Hmm. Well, we can get some from Russia. Honestly, let's do buy some from Spain. Should be a little bit better. And we aren't using our full production capabilities anymore. So, again. Let's see what we're short on. Coal. The answer is always coal. And the answer is always clothing. How much clothing can we need? Well, we're selling 6,000 abroad. That's so damn much. But I'm thinking we're going to focus on the tools here. Because the tools are definitely something that I would like to build a lot more of. That's, that's being used in all other industries too. A few, too few pre peasants here, but you know what? Some of these industries are going to probably be drawn down, like the glassworks, even though that's hugely profitable. Should we be building textile mills anywhere else but in Hesse? The answer is probably yes, but why would we? We do have people here who are unemployed or peasants, so they can be producing that stuff. Just a huge focus of, of our industry here. Yes, dice are still pretty expensive. How's Cameroon looking? 
we could deal with a lot more people over here. Infrastructure usage is fine. By the way, Aldas is still being incorporated. We have too little in terms of bureaucracy. Well, we need to solve that too. To build it. Brunswick. Yeah, you are building your railway, so that should be okay. Chemical plants. Some more glassworks. Yeah, all around pretty good, I think. But the big one, of course, is the technology here. I'm gonna dial up the speed here a little bit and just keep an eye on the market. See whether there's anything that we specifically want to build. Hardwood. Okay, more coal. I think we said North Rhine is still using that. Let's do use rail transportation here. It's gonna make transportation a lot more expensive. But we do have laborers. So we've got 35,000. I think that's enough for at least 10 more coal mines. And let's take a look at our railway stuff over here. So if we were to use this here, We'd be providing more transportation. We'd be providing also less infrastructure. But surprisingly also fewer people who for some reason needs to do that. Which is kind of counterintuitive. We are using more freight infrastructure because we're using more infrastructure here in the coals to put them on the rails. And at the same time on the rails we're actually using more passenger carriages. So somehow that, that's supposed to work. I don't know. Um, how are we looking then in terms of infrastructure? We're missing around 20, so that's two levels of additional railway down there. And per usual, it's going to be prioritized. We're going to do some road maintenance here because we want these things to be built up fast. More explosives, always useful. I don't think there's that much that we have in terms of fertilizer. Buildings, rural buildings. Yeah, not much really. <coughs> Excuse me. To build a little bit more hardwood since we are importing most of our normal wood. If you want peace, what's that? Armed forces demand more stuff against these guys. Now that's okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, we're going to like... The fact if these guys do provide us with a bigger bonus. We could have done that differently, but that's going to be okay. Come on, do build up the railway infrastructure here. Two more weeks, one more week. And at that point we can cancel the road maintenance and go back to boosting the industrialists. Investment pool is still negative, but we are not using all of our production capabilities. So at this point, it's really nice to, to be having that huge, huge growth. But it's also leading to some challenges. Um, and that is... Ooh, that's also true for a lot of things here. There's a lot of market access that's lacking a little bit. Even in Alsace, we are now lacking. Come on, let's build up another railway then. Best failure. Another railway. Hesse. Another one. Oh, that's North Rhine. North Rhine we've got, right? Yeah, you're just hiring, so that's presumably gonna be okay. But you're also building these coal mines. You know what? Long term, it's gonna be good to have more stuff here anyway. Oh, and there's another crisis in Switzerland. We have a Swiss peasant revolt. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think there's any reason for us to be involved, but we're just gonna see whether they're gonna promise us anything or maybe gonna give us anything. You never know. Might turn out fine. Industrialists over 20% again. Lovely to see. Lots of money being made here. Request to join our customs union. Yes, Bremen, you may join. Let's see whether they're gonna join our union now. Or whether that uh, sort of thing doesn't happen anymore. It's really, really weird sometimes how that works and doesn't work. 
Come on, Bremen. I know you can do it. Join the team. I know you want to. Money is okay-ish. The barrier relations are neutral. But I think we are improving them, right? Yes, we are. We are bankrolling all of these nations. Yes, it costs us some money. But at this point, we really have a lot of money. And you can see we overtook... We didn't overtake the French. We were actually... The difference to the French has remained somewhat the same. But we did overtake China. We did at least. Factory fire. Armed forces support. Yes. We're going to do that. Armed forces are going to become better. And speaking of the armed forces, come on. Let's get to that technology. Also, you are... Doing some stuff down there. It's interesting that France would like to oppose. Oh, we are not building anything at the moment. Okay. So probably that means iron is is incredibly inexpensive. Yeah, we've got a huge surplus there. That's not true. That's a little bit of an artifact. Jesus, how much clothing can we be selling off? We should be le making a lot of money on this. Hesse then. Oh, we've still got 20,000 peasants. How many peasants are used to, or how many people are actually used? So that's around 3,000. So that should give us more for at least 5 levels. You know what, let's call that 10 levels. People are going to move here and stuff. People are not going to work in the urban center as much. We can probably squeeze out some people from some of these other places. So that's going to work out. Brandenburg. Um, you guys are also short on various industries. So let's see what we can do to use fewer people in some of these jobs. Well, not really. Not on most of these things. Well, on the paper industry we can. That frees up some people. Mm, Trade Center. I don't think there's anything that we can do here. University, motor industries. Oh yeah, motor industries we can. 6,000 fewer people. Yeah, that's good. For the same output. I'm not going to say no to that. Thirty thousand unemployed people. Yes, but arms industries are still hiring. Twenty thousand or so. So we're actually looking fine, I think, in Brandenburg. Can't be building a lot more here. And in North Rhine, sorry, in the Rhineland, we also had two link workshops. Let's build more here. Again, we are starting to run out of peasants, but mm, barely. Maybe one more wheat farm for the wine. Oh, we're still not using all of our production capabilities. Okay, unhard. Um, furniture? Furniture is always good, isn't it? We actually have a positive balance here on furniture. Interesting. Food industries then in Posen? You guys are always making profit. It's something. Right. And in terms of resources, wood. Wood is always an issue. It's not super productive. Sulfur? Sulfur is something that we are sometimes... Not paying enough attention to, I feel. Let's build that up a little bit. Also, lead, it's a little bit the same. Rhineland, Brunswick. Brunswick has a couple of peasants there. Let's do build that up a little bit. Fishing wharfs, I don't think there is a big issue there. How are our shipyards doing? We have a surplus of steamers and a deficit of ironclads. Interesting. I would have expected that. Okay, if we do have a surplus of steamers, that means we can build up more fisheries. Mecklenburg? Fishery wharfs. Mm, we don't have any over here. So maybe Pomerania. We have a huge surplus there. Okay, let's build them up all the way. 
Even if it's agriculture. Discourage subsistence farming, migration attraction. More radical. Or we're gonna lose some approval of the industrialists. No, no, no. I think we should follow their advice. The industrialists do give me a lot of money and I do want to keep it. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have got trench, work, uh, trench warfare. And that brings us very close to be able to stand up against Austria and anyone who would be joining them, I believe. But that is gonna have to wait until next time. So for now, I say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I do hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.